Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Some like it hot. Some like it cold. Some like it in the pot, nine days old. Me? I like mine right in the middle. What am I talking about? I'm talking, of course, about hardware temperatures. And this was a subject that was brought up by Applesauce, who uh, is, that's his handle from the chat room at live.perillo.com. He says, I got a question. Does temperature affect Wi-Fi and wireless connectors? Connections. Connectures? <clears throat> Apparently my tongue is hot. Because the other day I left my fan running on my Xbox 360 and it was a wireless adapter. Only reason I kept the fan running is because it gets hot the Xbox 360, and when I went to turn it on to play Xbox Live, but it wouldn't connect, but my router and my internet was working fine after running it on for a while, it got some heat, so I tried to reconnect and it worked. So, does temperature affect wireless connections? Hmm, well, first of all, uh, this is just kind of a side tip. Um, I, I'm gonna teach you a little bit about punctuation, commas, dashes, periods, Use them every once in a while. That's really helpful when you're constructing sentences, first of all. Second of all, uh, does temperature affect wireless connections? Uh, you know, I don't think directly. Now, I, of course, if you're sitting on the surface of the sun, yeah, I'm sure temperature is going to affect wireless connectivity. Uh, but in terms of general hardware, I don't think temperature is going to make that much of a difference. It's not going to make the waves move any faster or, or any slower. Of course, if anything, there's other wireless connections that are causing interference. More than anything, it's likely that the hardware itself is overheated. And if the temperature limitation of any particular device exceeds its maximum uh, level, then yeah, you're going to end up with problems. In fact, uh, there was a big problem with a lot of MacBooks for a while. Uh, they would get hot, and because of the limitations of the way the, the processor was situated, it would expand because heat expands things. Uh, and it would expand and then uh, hit another circuit and it would short circuit the machine and cause it to like basically shut down. And then when the laptop cooled off, you could start it up again and get back in into using the Mac. Uh, this is the, an issue. Uh, if you are running too hot and a device or a particular console is not properly ventilated, you can overheat it. And it's not necessarily just that particular unit that's overheated, it's everything that's connected to it or everything around it. So certainly, uh, if you overheated any component, yeah, it's not going to work properly. Uh, that would be my uh, full guess as to uh, you know what had happened with that particular wireless adapter. Less about the heat disturbing the signal and more about the heat disturbing the actual device or the unit or the add-on itself. If you want a better idea in, in terms of what your hardware can and cannot handle, uh, usually in every product guide or manual in the back it'll say uh, preferred uh, situations, you know, don't store it in temperatures below this or above this. They say that for a reason. Uh, but as long as you keep a, a nice area, a good space around that Xbox or console, keep it properly ventilated, I don't think you're going to run into too many heating issues. I've seen add-ons, and in fact I bought one, uh, that you could slap onto the back of the Xbox that supposedly make it cooler, and apparently that causes some Xbox systems to uh, just be destroyed. Uh, so buying an add-on adapter to try to cool your Xbox is not a good idea. Any console or any piece of hardware, just keep it ventilated. A good airflow around the unit, and I think you'll be fine. So applesauce, uh, I hope that helps. And I, if you need any more help with periods, commas, or dashes, I... I happen to be a, an English teacher. That is my degree uh, from the University of Northern Iowa. I just happen to know a little bit about airflow uh, just because, well, I've overheated a few devices in my time. If you have any other suggestions on how to keep your hardware cool and running fine, go ahead and pop in a, a remark, a follow-up comment or whatnot. Or, of course, you know, swing by the chat room. People are asking questions all day long, and whether we're able to answer them right there or maybe even store them up uh, to, so then when I answer these questions every day that we can possibly answer your question in a future video segment. You know, we're here for you 24 hours a day. You can watch all our videos on YouTube or, of course, media.perillo.com. You can read my personal blog at chris.perillo.com. You can actually Google for my first name, and I'm, I'm right there at the top, or at least close to the top, Chris Perillo. And, of course, the uh, live chat room is where, guys? Can you can you tell the viewers where they can get to the, the live chat room that's happening right now when we're recording the video live? Anybody? 
Anybody? There we go. Live.perillo.com.